In this video, I just wanted to share a little bit of how I made my reindeer pattern, and I'll link the video below. It was in the one with my bowl stuffers, and I just want to show you how I do it in Silhouette Studio. I am not an expert at it. People that know what they're doing probably will laugh at me, but this is how I got it done, so keep watching. Okay, and I'm going to insert this... Uh, little bit of me making a pattern on Silhouette Studio. I lost my pattern on my reindeer. I had a little reindeer that I had made, and I've lost it. It's somewhere on my computer. I thought I had it saved. I didn't save it in my Silhouette software. I saved it on my hard drive, and I can't find it. And you'd think I named it Reindeer, but it's not finding it. So I had to start all over, and it's going to take me a long time, so I'm not going to show every step I go through. But just to start with, these right here, I make an oval. Then I make another oval. And actually, I don't need two ovals because I kind of use manipulate one and get it kind of where I like it and then copy and paste it. Or maybe I'll put one over here, you know, just to have it in sync I, so I can watch what I'm doing. But anyways, that's what I start out with. Kind of like that. And then you have to take it and put nodes in it. And you pull and you maneuver things till you get them where you like them. Anyways, I'll pull, that's why I'm not going to do this on, because I sit here and fiddle with it, and I get some really strange looking things. And then all of a sudden, it starts coming together and looking somewhat good. So, anyway, so that's what I did for the ear. And then, let me kind of move this one over that I'm working on. I'm going to want the face wider. I think I'm going to go ahead and copy this just to put it over there so I can, you know, see what it looks like. But I'm going to flip horizontal, and I'm going to stick it right there. Okay, this head is going to have to be wider. And then I'm going to bring this down, put a node there, bring it up. Put a node here. I'll bring it up. That kind of flattens it. Anyways, you can kind of see what I maneuver this stuff, okay? Now, I want this to come in. Okay, I'm going to have to make another one there. Bring this in some. I'll bring this up to match it. I'm not doing a real good job right now. But I don't want that all the way out. Okay, I need to delete a node. Bring this in. This in some. And I still need to come in some. Whoops. Okay, right about, I'd say in here, I'm going to have to bring my gel out. I still need to come in with this and bring this one out so it can go in more. Okay, I could, what I could do is get this side where I want it and then kind of cut it in half and flip it. But this is what I go through to make a pattern. And it'll take me a bit to get it figured out, but I'll do it. You can see I'm having my trying to get my whoops bring that in a little bit 
I need to smooth that out. There we go. I'm not an expert at it, but this is what I do. This is how I do that. And then let's just say it's done. I'm going to pull this aside. I have a lot more to do on this. But let's say I'm done with that. I've got both sides the same way. I got the jaw come down that you know how I kind of manipulated it. And then I'll select it all and come down and hit weld and it'll be one piece but everything starts out with the shape and I started out with ovals and manipulate put nodes in and manipulated it till I come up with my reindeer I'm trying to do it again and because I've lost my pattern and somebody's wanting it but I thought I'd just show you a little bit of what I'm doing to make this pattern all right I am finished with it I went ahead and Revised that one, pulled and tugged. Now I'll just delete this one because I don't need it. And from here, I will go over by my lines. And I'm going to make them black. All right. And now I have got to... I've got true thickness. I went over here and I'm going to make the lines thicker. So it can make it a pattern. And it's finished. Now I will just uh, go over here and make my page the printer size. And I'll now have the pattern again. And I'll try to remember where I save it this time. And... I'll have it. It's not exactly like the other one, but it's pretty close, I think. Okay, I have to go by memory. And what I'm wanting. And that's it. I'm going to save it now to my computer. And actually, no, I'll print it out. What I'll do is I'll print this. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then I'll put it in my scanner, and I'll scan it and save it as a PDF. And that's how I made the uh, reindeer. It's been probably a lot easier to draw it. A lot easier, but I like to learn and figure things out. So, But I did want to share it. All right, guys, that's all for this video. See you later.